base to base, I think Goku would be stronger, but the multiplier for the ultimate form is so high that he's able to contend. Oh. Kyle Ken. Yeah, when they fall in um, the anime. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I was thinking manga for a second, but all right. No, that's all I mean, manga, but I was just like kind of cross-referencing because I'm pretty sure the multiplier would be the same in the manga and the anime because nothing's showing nothing's been shown for me to contradict that like when they contradict each other i leave it alone but when i see something that mirrors it i will make a mention of it and like that i thought it was funny how goku like used kyle ken in their fights to, to beat him where blue outright wasn't able to and just comparing it in this sense like the ultimate gohan was above a gamma who at worst was blue goku level so you'd be above blue goku anyways which is just interesting, like how that turns out. And Goten and Trunks felt like they needed to fuse when Gohan went ultimate, as if his form is like needing at the very least of a fusion level base Gotenks. Ah, ah, ah. You know? Like he went ultimate fusion and they called it man. cheating. That's fine. Let's fuse. Um. So that being said, if Vegeta does not have his. uh. He's like ultra ego. Even though evolution is stronger than blue, I don't know if it's the same. I don't know if it'd be the same gap to close the whole orange piccolo thing. I don't know about that. Like the orange piccolo multiplier is pretty insane as well. Orange piccolo multiplier. Hmm. So. I guess people be like, why would why wouldn't he? I mean, because he didn't though. As he when he fought, he didn't use the the ultra ego. So I don't know. We could make head cannons like maybe he didn't think it was it'd be right or whatever. But all I know is everyone's using their all out brawling here, and you're in like evolution blue at best or super saiyan yeah, evolution <laughs> blue. I'll say evolution blue, and it's like, come on. So I don't know if he has it. So for that reason, I put Piccolo above Vegeta just for now. If I see Vegeta using it, my it will instantly switch. But for right now, it will be Piccolo than Vegeta. Based off what's displayed, all right. Based off what's displayed. Can't be mad at that. Now, Granola versus Broly is an interesting one. Um, Granola was pretty comparable to like. Yeah, he was comparable to the ego Vegetas of the world. Certain things of the world at that time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's like Broly was getting... He was getting sauced up by Gohan Beast, but he fought Ultimate Gohan, and he fought him in his Super Saiyan. And I think... Mm-hmm. Let me revisit, because I believe he started to kind of do well. I got to mm-hmm. see how good he does. Yeah, they started to go Gohan. back and forth. Because if that's the case, then mm, if that's the case, oof, oof, it's possible. It's possible that Garoli would be above him now, not before, but with the Super Saiyan one, I may possibly do that. I'm in. It's it's kind of hard when it comes to how strong, like how much power did they get? Forget from Moro to Granola, but from Granola to like, no, yeah, you know, that yeah, mm. was a crazy time skip. <laughs> mm. What's good? No, no, I was just uh. Singing the <laughs> reminded. It's like, ah, oh, okay, you letting appear back in. It's been right. away. That's funny. <laughs> mm, looking, looking, looking. Actually, Broly in his base form does pretty good against Gohan, Ultimate Gohan. It's not too long after, like, they swap hands briefly, and they have some exchanges, and Gohan, mm-hmm. you know, he's, like, impressed, he calls Broly an impressive fighter, and Broly's like, look, I want to see that beast form, forget about all this ultimate thing you're doing. So, 